Hey everyone, in the news this week. It was International Women's Day on Friday. It was supposed to actually be on Thursday, but they took a little bit too long getting ready. There's also a rumour that Spando Ballet are going to re-release one of their albums. I hope it's true. And there was controversy in the news after the discussion of so-called no-go zones in London. And as someone who lived there for 10 years, I would probably assume they meant the Angus Steakhouse at Leicester Square, those American candy stores in Oxford Street, and that Tomb Raider thing up in Camden Market. Rupert Murdoch's getting married yet again, this time to a 67-year-old biochemist. I guess they're being asked to come dressed in a morning suit, but also to pack a morning suit just in case because he's getting on in age. There was also a budget. Not that many people cared to watch Rishi and Hunt shifting around the deck chairs on the Titanic. I saw a lot of the papers published a photograph of them in an office with a bookshelf lined with red leather books. And in all honesty, it reminded me of one of those fake bookshelves you get in pubs where none of them are actual books that people read. Watching the Conservatives play at the next six months is a bit like watching a game of football where it's 5-0 but they're all contractually obliged to hang around for the next 15 minutes until the ref blows the whistle. On the other hand, it's far worse in the US where Joe Biden got propped up with medication and went on an angry, unhinged, gaff-laden rant at the State of the Union address. It remains unclear which president will finish their tenure with more brains left intact, Biden or Kennedy. Unfortunately, in a blow to Democrats, the US Supreme Court also ruled this week that the public will in fact be able to vote for their favourite candidates in November, even if the local state officials think that's a terrible idea. I was also going to talk about Boeing, hence this cartoon, uh, but John Oliver just did a far better piece on it than I could ever hope to write. Anyway, link in the description to that, I guess. It's really worth watching. In the meantime, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.